It's no secret, folks aren't happy with Washington, D.C. Career politicians, both Democrats and Republicans, have ignored the best interests of this country, allowed the debt to spiral out of control, stripped the states of the rightful power that they have, and robbed you of your personal liberty. This isn't new. It's been happening for decades. The simple fact is Washington will never limit its own powers. They'll never pass an amendment to balance the budget, to put limits on themselves, to give the states their rightful constitutional authority. America is in peril. We all know that. Something must be done and done now. Never forget, the federal government is a creation of the states. We gave them power. We gave them limited power. Washington is not our parent. The federal government is the child of the states. Fortunately, our founders knew the federal government might one day become too large and too powerful, and they specifically inserted a mechanism that gives us a tool to stop a runaway government. I filed legislation in the South Carolina House of Representatives calling for an Article V Convention of States. Article V of the Constitution explains that if two-thirds of the states submit an application to Congress, Congress must call a convention of states for the purpose of proposing amendments to the Constitution. A convention of states operates just like it sounds. Each state sends a delegation to the convention where the states discuss and vote upon amendment proposals. This is very important to understand. A convention of states can only propose amendments. By itself, it can't change one word of the Constitution. Each amendment proposal must be sent to the states for ratification, which requires the agreement of three-quarters of the states. That's 38 states. That'll take a lot of agreement among a lot of states. Some folks are afraid of a convention of states, but their fears are founded on an important misunderstanding of the Article V process. A convention of states cannot amend the Constitution. It can only propose amendments, which must be ratified in the proper way, the same way Congress would do it if its members could ever agree on anything. South Carolina is among the first of states to take this step, but will soon be joined by many others. This is a national movement. Legislators across the states, in many states, are coordinating their efforts, and there's a vibrant, nationwide grassroots network of citizens' support in 30 states so far, including South Carolina. The founders knew the federal government might one day become drunk with its power. They knew the federal government might overstep its bounds. So they included a way for states to amend the Constitution to rein in a runaway government in Washington, D.C. A convention of states is the safest most legitimate, lawful, and most effective means to solve the problems in Washington. The Constitution is a brilliant document, and it's high time that we use it as the founders intended. I ask, if not this course correction, what's the alternative? The time is now. Bold action is needed. America is slipping away. What can you do? Please urge your state representative and senator to support the Convention of States legislation. Thank you.